Hi guys, uh, welcome to part two uh, for Venn diagrams. And this in this video, we're going to look at the extension questions. So if you haven't watched the um, the first part, do look at that first uh, before you watch this video to know more about Venn diagrams. And the uh, the links to the uh, to these notes, uh, you can find it in the uh, link description below as well. So let's have a look at this first one. So extension question one, a uh, universal set has got all the numbers from one to 10. A is the prime numbers and B has got odd numbers. Draw a Venn diagram for this information. Right, so first step, definitely label these, A and B. And so, so this means the universal set is everything in this box is gonna have these numbers from one to 10. Okay. So A is going to have all the prime numbers. So prime, you need to know what that is. Obviously, prime numbers are numbers that um, cannot be divided by anything else apart from themselves and one. So um, one is not a prime number, though. Yeah, because um, another definition of prime numbers, if you think of prime numbers as having two factors as well, itself and one so one is not a prime fact prime factor or prime number sorry uh, because obviously the only factor that one has got is just one yeah so it's only got one factor so your first prime number is going to be two then it's three and then it's going to be five seven and not nine because be very careful a lot of people think nine is a, uh, a prime number but it's not remember do check three goes into nine so it's not a prime number yep yeah. so that's a done b is all the odd numbers so all the odd numbers are numbers that don't divide by two so one three five seven and nine in this case what have we got in common well three five and seven definitely in the middle a has also got two. B has got one and nine. Yeah, is that all of them? That's all of them. And the rest must be outside the circle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is there, nine is there, ten's got to be on the outside. Yeah. And that's your final answer. That's that one done. And uh, let's move on. Extension question two. Uh, the universal set has got odd numbers less than 30. Okay. So odd numbers less than 30. Okay. A has got 3, 9, 15, 21, and 27. B has got 5, 15, 25. Right. So let's call this one A. Let's call this one B. So uh, what have they got in common? Definitely 15. And that's it, isn't it? Yeah, nothing else. Right, so A has got three, nine, 21, and 27. And B has got five and 25 yep and the rest all the odd numbers less than 30 must be outside so that's going to be one that three is there five is there seven nine is there eleven thirteen um fifteen is there seventeen on the outside 19, 21 is there, 23, 25 is there, 27 is there, and 29, yep, that's my last one because I have to stop, mm, because it has to be less than 30, that's where I stop, yep, that's part A done, there is a part B as well, part B says, a number is chosen at random from the universal set, what is the probability that the number is in the set a u b so obviously this means the union of a and b right so 
Well, this type of question, how many numbers have we got in the union of A and B? Well, the union of A and B is both the circles together, so everything that's in both circles. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Seven out of 15 is your answer. Yep. Yeah. Let's move on. Extension question three, survey was made of the number of people who like to drink tea, coffee and wine. The diagram shows the number of people in these sets, right? So, ah, right. So in this one, we've got three circles overlapping. Yeah, so you might get something like that in the exam as well. And it's just the same sort of thing. You know, obviously it's just one more circle that's overlapping. So this circle represents tea. This one represents coffee. This one represents wine. Okay, so uh, write down the number of people who like coffee. Well, people who like coffee is everyone in this coffee circle. So that's two plus eight gives you 10, 25, 29 altogether. What's that one? Like tea and coffee, but not wine, right? So this where it gets a little bit complicated. Let's do tea and coffee first, or tea and coffee. Let's do it in a different color. Tea and coffee is the intersection of tea and coffee, which is these two. Yeah, that's the uh, people who like tea and coffee, but not wine. So I can't include that one because that, that's the number of people who like wine as well. So it has to be two for your answer for that. Yeah, and just do it bit by bit. Uh, like only only wine, right? Well, only uh, 10 people like only wine. Oops. It's doing the correct color, sorry. Uh, so 10 goes here. Yeah. Do not like tea. Well, people who do not like tea is everyone that's outside of tea. So um, that's going to be 15, 19, 29, 34 altogether. Do not like tea. Yeah, uh, do not like any of the three drinks. Well, that's going to be five people on the outside. They don't like any of the drinks. Yeah, so that's that done. Then it says write down the property that the per that a person picked at random likes coffee only, or both coffee and wine. Right. Well, coffee only. Let's do that first. Coffee only is that, or both coffee and wine. Coffee and wine. Well, coffee and wine. Let's do that as a, in a different color. Coffee and wine is the intersection of coffee and wine. So the intersection of coffee and wine is these two. Yeah. And because it says or, that or that. So it's the union. Technically, it's the union of all the ones that I've just underlined. So it's going to be uh, 12 plus... 15. 8 plus 4 gives you 12. Plus the 15 is 27. So it's going to be 27 for that. Yep, yeah, that's that one done. Next one, uh, tea, coffee and wine. Well, tea, coffee and wine, that's the, uh, because it's and, tea, coffee and wine. That's the intersection of all three. Well, that's just that in the middle, which is 8. Mm. Definitely eight in the middle there. Uh, only coffee. Well, people who only like coffee. Oh, wait a minute. I've just noticed something. Probability. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Probability is to do with fractions, isn't it? So these are going to be out of the total. So um, don't forget. Probability is going to be out of the total. So um, let's do the total. In total, these are going to be out of 61 for all of these. Yeah, so for, don't forget for probability, <clears throat> it's going to be out of the total. Yeah, I almost forgot. Right. So that's that one. Uh, let's do only coffee. The probability of picking um, someone who doesn't, who likes only coffee is 15 out of 61. Uh, probability of picking uh, someone who likes wine and coffee, 
but not tea. Right, let's do wine and coffee first. So wine and coffee is the intersection of wine and coffee. That's these two. Okay, but not tea. Okay, so not tea is not these guys. So it's going to be just four out of 61. Yep, yeah, for that one. Tea or both coffee and wine? Right, tea or both coffee and wine. Right, so let's do tea first. Let me rub these out one second. Tea on its own is going to be everyone who's in tea. So these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys. Okay. <clears throat> or both coffee and wine. Well, yeah. coffee and wine is going to be the intersection of coffee and wine, yeah, which is these two. Yep. So tea or both coffee and wine. So because it's or, it's going to be the union of all of these that I've just underlined. So it's going to be 16 plus 2 gives you 18, 26, 30, 31. It's going to be 31 out of uh, 61. For that one <clears throat> yep so just be careful with these yeah do it bit by bit and don't forget the rules if it's and it's going to be the intersection if it's going to be or it's going to be the union yeah and don't forget the rules for those as well let me just rub out these um right, it's a really good way of doing it that way yeah and just do it bit by bit and just work it out Let's move on. Extension question four. Venn diagram shows the numbers of students in year 11. Right. So B is people who take biology, W who walk, and L who are an only, only child. Write down the number of students in the following sets. Right. Okay. So slightly different one. This has got individual numbers of people or students in this case in each section. Actually, it's very similar to the previous one. So write down the number of students in the following sets. So the intersection of B and W, intersection of B and W, well, that's going to be these two. So that's going to be 12 for that. What's the next one? Um, the intersection of L and B, intersection of L and B is these two, which are overlapping. That's going to be 17. Yep. Next one. The intersection of L and W. Okay, well, the intersection of L and W is just that there. There's nothing in that one. So it's just five for that. Oh, the intersection of B, W, and L. B, W and L is going to be where they all lap, all three of them overlap. So that's going to be, again, yeah, that's going to be five again, isn't it? That's where all they all overlap. B, L and W, that's going to be five for that. Uh, the union of B and W, um, the union, well, B is all of these in this circle b and w is going to be everything in that as well so it's going to be all of these guys all of these guys and all of these guys as well yep and because it's the union <clears throat> it's going to be all of them all together the ones that i've just underlined so you're gonna have to add up all these and so that's going to be 34 plus 12 is 46, 51, 58, uh, 110, yep, yeah, 110 altogether, so that's going to be 110 students altogether, okay, next one, let's rub these out. Uh, not the union of B and W, so not the union of 
B and W. Well, the union is going to be again. Well, that's going to be same as before. The union is all of these guys. Sorry, not that one. Uh, all of these guys. That's B, and all of W, which is all of these guys. Uh, so not that. So basically everything that's not highlighted. So it's going to be the other ones. Twenty three plus forty one. That's going to give you 64 for your answer. So 64. For that. Yep. That's for about these. Okay. Uh, what's next? The union of L, B, and W. So basically everything, all three circles. So it's all of these, everyone, apart from the 41 on the outside, obviously. So let's add them up. Um, it's a quick way of doing it. We've got 12 there, 12 there, that's 24. 24 plus 54, that's going to give me. Uh, 54 plus 54, 54 plus that is 110. 110 plus that is 130. Three, yep, 133 should be. If I've added it right, hopefully I have 133. If any of these are wrong, do let me know. By the way, yeah, I'm not using a calculator. You might get this on the calculator paper. You might not. I'm just being a bit lazy and not using it. Um, and what is the uh, not that happening? Well, basically everything that's not in all the circles. That's just 41 on the outside. Uh, not B, basically any, anyone who's not in B, so 23 plus 52, that's 75, 75 plus 41, blimey, um, I'm just working out on the side here, it's going to be 116 for that, okay. Uh, not the intersection of L and B, right? So not the intersection of L and B. Let's work that out as well. Well, the intersection of L and B is these two. So basically everything that's not that. Um, so it's going to be 34 plus 7 plus 52 plus that plus that as well. Let's do it in... Order so, that, so in fact, let's do 7 plus 20, that's 30, 64, 64 plus 105, um, 157 altogether, 157 for that. Yep, and now work out the following probabilities right so these are going to be out the total so what is the total let's just double check what the total is so the total is going to be 174 just write that down here yep so these probabilities these are all going to be out of 174 yeah so let's do the property of picking not w so everything that's not in w so that's going to be that, 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 and that. Let's add them up. 110. So it should be 110 out of 174. Okay. Um, the probability of. Let me just do the next one. Probability of the union of the of B and L. Okay. Well, B and L is everything that's in B and everything that's in L. That's everything in B, and everything in L is these guys. Yeah, so if it's the union, it's going to be everything in both these circles, which is 81 out of 174. All right, and not that, well, it's going to be everything else outside those that I've just highlighted. So it's going to be um, 90. Three out of 174, and the probability of picking the u um, not the union, sorry, 
So the probability of picking uh, the intersection of B and L, that's going to be, let me highlight them, the intersection of B and L, that's going to be uh, these two. That's just 17, isn't it? Out of 174. And the last one, the probability of picking not the intersection of B, L, and W. Well, the intersection of B, L, and W is just the middle bit. Just that five on its own. Uh, but not that. Not that is everything else. So that's going to be just take it away from the top. 169 out of. Hundred seventy four. Yeah, quick way of doing it. Instead of adding them all up, you'll get one hundred sixty nine. Yep, yeah, that's that one done. Um, let's move on to the next one. Extension question five. In the Venn diagram, a universal set represents thirty one students in a class. C is students who have a cat. D is students who have a dog. Oh, we got algebra in here. Right. So work out. Uh, sorry, one student from the class is picked at random, right? Okay, work out the property that student has a dog. Three marks for part A, it's part B as well. Well, do we know the total? Yes, we know the total, 31. So all of these must add up to 31. Let's use that to work out what X is, because I don't like that X being there. So let's, let's write... Um, 6 plus 5 plus 2x plus this as well, uh, x plus 2. They all add up to 31. Yeah. Let's use that. And let's simplify it. 6 plus 5 is 11. Plus 2 is 13. And I've got 3x here as well. So I've got 3x plus 13 equals... 31 take away 13 from both sides 31 take away 13 I'm left with 18 on that side so x is going to be 6 so if x is 6 that's going to be 2 times 6 which is 12 and that's going to be 8 yep so now we know what they are as numbers one student is, is picked at random. Work out the probability that the student has a dog. So they're going to pick somebody at random from the whole universal set. Work out the probability that the student has a dog. Well, these are the people who have a dog. Uh, either this person, these people, or these. That's going to be 17 out of... Uh, what's total? 31. That's going to be your answer. That's part A done. Part B says one of the students who has a cat is picked at random. Okay. Work out probability that this student has a dog. So they're going to pick from the people who have cats. Work out the probability. Right. So who are the people? Um, let me just show you guys. So obviously this circle here, the six and the five, they're the ones who they're picking from. So 6 out of 5 is 11 people, and 5 of them have dogs, so it's going to be 5 out of 11 is just your answer for one mark. 5 out of 11. Yep. Don't need to show any working out for that, it's only one mark. Let's move on. Venn diagram shows some information about 150 students. Uh, universal set is 150 students. C is the students who study chem chemistry. P study physics. Uh, probability that the physics student chosen at random also studies chemistry is five twelfths. Okay, we might need to use this information. One of the 150 students is chosen at random. Work out the probability that student does not study either chemistry. All right, we'll come to the answer in a minute. We have to know. We have to work out what this these missing ones are x and y but we have to use this information yeah probability that a physics student is chosen or they're choosing from let's say they're choosing from the physics 
students. So that's the whole circle for stu uh, physics students. Um, also studies chemistry is five twelfths. Well, that's going to be these guys here. Um, so property that physics student chosen at random. So that's going to be out of. What's the total for the physics students? Total is going to be these two added together. X plus 35. So that's my total for physics students. Um, probably that physics student is chosen at random. Also studies chemistry, right? Well, the only people who study chemistry from the physics guys is these guys right here. So that's just X. So X out of the total. Yeah, that's my fraction is equal to they're saying is equal to five twelfths. Yeah, that's the same as that. That's what they're saying. Can we use this? To work out what x is yeah we're gonna have to get rid of the fractions um a lot of people just do f cross multiply so this whole thing goes up there and this 12 goes up there so you'll get 12x on that side equals 5 multiplied by x plus 35 in brackets yeah all i've done is just get rid of the bracket sorry all i've done is just get rid of the fractions by doing cross multiply. Um, let's get rid of the brackets here. 5x, 5 times 35, what's that? 175. Okay, let's take away 5x to both sides. Um, I've still got 175 here. And let's divide both sides by 7. So. Oh, it's exactly 25. So X, we found out that X is equal to 25. So that goes there. Okay. Um, ah, we can work out what Y is now. Yeah, the other missing value. Because we know the total. We know the total is 150. So Y is going to be... And all of these added together, so 47, let's write it down here, plus 25, which we know now, 35, plus y equals 150. Yeah, that's the total. Let's simplify this, so 47 plus 25 plus 35, that is 107. We've still got the y. Yeah, uh, take away 107 from both sides. You have you here, you get 43, right? Yeah, so why is 43? Um, okay, what is asking for? Work out the probability that the student does not study either chemistry or physics. Oh, right, well, that's just why, isn't it? Out of the total, so that's going to be. 43 out of 150 There's your answer Yeah, so Yeah, they're gonna pick from all of them they're gonna pick from the 150 students that's total definitely and the student uh, Probably that student does not study either chemistry or physics Definitely these guys on the outside Which is we worked out as 43 so it's 43 out of 150 for your answer. Well, let's move on. Extension question seven. Universal set is 29 students in a class. C is uh, students who own a cat. D is students who own a dog, right? Okay. Student chosen at random circle of property that a student owns a cat or a dog, but not both, all right? So cat or a dog, but not both. Well, not uh, both is the one in the middle. So not that, but these guys. Cat or a dog, uh, but not both. So it's going to be five plus seven, which is 12 out of uh, 29, isn't it total? 12 out of 29, which is 
this one right here. Yep, that's that one. And part B says student who owns a dog is chosen at random. So we're going to choose from the dog circle. And just get rid of these. So we're going to choose from these guys. Either eight, uh, eight plus seven gives you definite total is fifteen. Uh, circle of property that the student owns a cat. Well, that's going to be eight out of fifteen, definitely. Yep. That's going to be that one. That's that one done. Dead easy. Let's move on. Extension question eight. Which of these represents the shaded region? Ooh. These are a bit weird. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You might be able to guess what it is, but I wouldn't recommend it. I know it's only one mark, but you could technically... Um, you could technically draw what each of these, what would they actually look like? And I'll show you a way of doing that. So what would, what would it look like for each of these? Well, let's see. A, if it's just A on its own. Let me do it in a different colour. That's what that would look like. So it's definitely not that. What would this one look like? Not B. not be would be basically everything that's outside and there as well okay um so it's definitely not that one either yeah let's draw what this one would look like so i've got a and i've got b so this is the um intersection of a and not b well a is this bit and this bit okay and B not B sorry not B is this bit and the outside and it's the intersection so it's both of them together oh right so it's both of them where the both shaded bits are definitely this bit here so it's definitely this as your answer yeah that's what your uh, shaded region should look like definitely that as your answer I can show you what this one looks like. Let's draw it. So I've got two circles, A and B. So A is, all of A is this bit. Not B, uh, not B is this bit and this bit. So uh, if it's the union, it's all of that that I've just highlighted so it's all of this all of this all of that is included as well all of that and that's what that would look like shaded yeah again if you're not sure on how to do these you know do have a look at the video in part one it does it does help where I uh, highlight the ones that it's talking about first and it totally depends whether it's the intersection or whether it's the union um so uh, yeah it definitely does help let's do the next one oh got another one right which of these represents the shaded region right again let's draw them um if you're not sure yeah So not the union of A and B. Well, the not the union of A and B is all of that. Is it that? That's your answer straight away. Yeah, that's going to be your answer. So definitely that one. You don't have to check the other ones. If you know straight away which one it's going to be, it's definitely going to be that one. Shall I draw all of them though? Let's see. I'll show you guys what each of these look like or what they should look like. Um... So not the intersection. So basically that's all of this, all of this, uh, all of this as well. That's what that would look like. So basically everything apart from the intersection is shaded. Yep. That's that one and the next one right and now um, 
A would be, sorry, not A, not A is these two, and B would be these two, yeah? So um, if it's the intersection, that means it's both of them at the same time, so it's the, um, the one with two lines in them, so it's just that. That's what would be shaded. And the last one, what would that look like? Let's see. It's fine, don't worry about that. Um, not A, not A is these two, wherever they are, and not B would be um, these two. Yep, and if it's the union, it's both of them together. So again, uh, very similar to that second one there. So it would be all of that, that shaded in. Yeah, very similar to the second one, obviously. Um, not drawn to scale or anything, it's just the, um, you can see the intersection is not filled in there and it's not filled in there either. So that's the same as the second one. But yeah, definitely for this answer, it's definitely the first one, not the union of A and B. Yeah, so if you're not straight away, just uh, put that as your answer. Let's move on. Extension question 9, A and B are two events. Uh, some probabilities are shown on the Venn diagram. Right, that's key. Look at this bit here. Some probabilities. So they're not showing all of them. In fact, yeah, this bit's missing here. Yeah. Work out the probability of um, the union of not A and B. Well, that is going to be... Oh, but we need the total, don't we? Well, the total is going to be... Um, oh, these are probabilities, right? So it's just going to be the probability of picking the uh, number. So these are already in probabilities, yeah? So some properties are shown. So these are already as a, either a fraction or a decimal. So they're already as a probability, uh, not as a number. So not as whole numbers. Um, work out the probability of picking not a well not a is these two wherever this one is and b b is these two and it's the union well i need all three of these i don't know what this unknown is i could work it out but basically it's everything that's not this one so it's the opposite of that um, obviously it's going to be 0 0.7 as your answer, definitely. How did I know that? Shall we work out this unknown value? You don't have to, but let me show you what this unknown value is. Well, they all have to add up to 1, don't they? So why don't we do 1 minus that, take away that, take away that. Let's work that out, what that is. That's going to be... 1 minus 0.3 minus 0.15 and that's going to be 0.2 yeah so that is going to be there that's 0.2 right there so technically um the uh, probability of picking these ones that i've just highlighted is going to be 0.15 plus 0.35 plus 0.2 now, which we know. Yeah, and it should be 0.7 as your answer. Yeah. Um, or the if you if you know um, if it's not going to be if it's not going to be 0.3, then it's got to be one take away that. Yeah. So that's how I got 0.7 from the beginning as well that's you could have done it that way so it's everything that's not 0.3 basically everything else uh, so you you know you know that properties add up to one anyway so you could do it that way a couple of ways you could could have done that yes yeah? so two marks don't spend ages or something like this i'm just showing you guys various methods um let's move on extension question 10 which of these represents the shaded region oh one of them again okay should we draw them Let's see what they look like. 
So what does this one look like if I do it as two circles? Uh, A is going to be these two and not B is this and this and it's the intersection so it's where they're both together so that's going to be just that bit there so it's not that and not B well it's definitely not this one because I'll show you what it looks like not B is everything that's not in B obviously which is all of this um, don't forget intersection is not included either so it's definitely not this one yeah so it's not that it's not the same as that we need if the um, if the intersection was not included then yes it would have been that but unfortunately it's not it's not shaded for this one let's have a look at the next one uh, well a is gonna be these two and um, not B is going to be this and this and it's the union so it's going to be all of them yeah it's this one isn't it yeah definitely this one because it's everything that I've just highlighted apart from this bit which is not highlighted was it so definitely this one as your answer yep so that's the one you should circle I'll show you what this one looks like as well just in case you're interested uh, not B would be, sorry, not A would be this and this, and not B would be this and this, and it's the union, it would be all of them that I've just highlighted, so it would be all of this, all of this, so basically it's everything apart from the, uh, the uh, intersection. So this is again, um, definitely not this one. For your answer so uh, yeah definitely the third one definitely the third one for your answer yep again only one mark you know you don't want to spend ages on something like this if you're not sure I do it on the end um, but yeah you can very easily work it out with the uh, the rules let's move on <clears throat> extension question 11 Venn diagram shows information about some houses G is houses with garage, uh, houses, S is houses with shed, okay. Houses chosen at random, okay. Houses chosen at random. Um, house has a garage, what is the probability that it has a shed? Ooh, right, so. Houses chosen at random. House has a garage, right. So that means we're choosing from the these guys, so it could be. Um, yeah, it's from the, from these guys. So definitely, <clears throat> um, what's it going to be? The property that has a shed is eight out of twenty-one. house does not have a garage what's well, probably that it does not have a shed so the ones that don't have a garage are these guys <clears throat> so 11 plus 4 gives you 15 what's the property that it does not have a shed well that's gonna be 4 on the outside 4 out of 15 for your answer There's your answers. Let's move on. Oh, there's a part C. Show that the probability of this is greater than property of this. Right, we'll have to work these out separately. So what is uh, the first one? G. Let's do that first. G and S. Okay, so G. Well, obviously G is these two. S is these two. Um, let's check which one it is it's the intersection so it's both of them together at the same time so that's going to be this one all right um, but not that right so not not the uh, not the one that I've just highlighted so basically everything else 
so it's going to be 13 plus 11, that's 24, 28 out of total because it's probability total is total is 36 right so that's going to be 20 out of 36 is greater than um and let's do the next one so um g union not s let's do g and not s right so just delete these okay so G is definitely these two okay and what was the other one what does it say um, not S right well not S is this one and this one yeah is it the union or the intersection? Let's double check. It's the union, so that means it's all the ones that I've just included. So everything that I've just highlighted. So this, this, and this all together. <coughs> What's that going to give me? So that's going to be 12 plus 13. That's going to be 25. 25 out of 36 yeah and it is yeah 28 out of 36 is greater than 25 out of 36 yeah there's your answer you just leave it like that that's absolutely fine let's move on extension to question 12 which of these represents the shaded region dead easy it's just the intersection isn't it so it's going to be definitely it's going to be this one um let me just make sure what's not a going to be. Let me just make sure it's not this one as well. Might be two answers. Let's just double check. So not a is that and that. Oh, sorry. Uh, not a is going to be that and that. And not b. It's not going to be this. Oh, it's not going to be that. The union is going to be all three. Yeah, so it's only one answer. I just want, just want to double check something. So... Um, Yep, it's definitely that one. Definitely that one. Dead easy. Extension question 13. Here is some information about 80 people who play in bands. 12 are singers, but not guitar players. 30% are either a singer or not, nor a guitar player. A quarter of the guitar players are also singers. Right, complete the Venn diagram. Um, so we've got a total of 80 people, right? And we've got singers and we've got guitar players, right? Oh, it's just complete, completing the... Uh, Venn diagram. So we have to use this information. We're not told anything else, obviously. Uh, 12 are singers, but not guitar players. 12 are singers, but not guitar players. So they must be in here. Yep. Yeah. That's 12. Okay. 30% are neither a singer nor a guitar player. Um, so they're the people on the outside. 30% of what? What was the total? 80. So it's got to be 30% of 80. Let's work that out. That's going to be 24, exactly. So you're going to have 24 people outside. Okay. What else are we told? A quarter of the guitar players are also singers. Right. So there's going to be a quarter of the people here and, a th and three quarters in here so a quarter of a quarter of I don't know how many we don't know how many um, we don't know how many are in the guitar but we can work it out we can work out what X is the number of guitar players because we've got these already 12 and 24 how much is that already 12 plus 24 gives you 36 okay so the rest must be the guitar players take that away from 80 what does that give us 44 ah 
Right, so there's 44 guitar players. Yeah. And now we can work out a quarter of that. That goes in the middle. Let me just delete this. Quarter of that. So a quarter of 44, which is 44 divided by 4, isn't it? Which is 11. That goes in there. And three quarters of 44 um, is going to be 33. Or the rest, in fact, yeah, it's going to be 33, isn't it? Because these two add up to 44 anyway, so definitely. Is that it? Ah, oh, four marks just for doing that. Right, you're done. Yeah, technically you don't need to show this all, all this working out. You just get your four marks from completing the Venn diagram. Yep. Let's move on. Extension question 14. What does this represent in the probability um, the intersection of A and B? Right, well, intersection means both at the same time. Um, so, And we call it and as well, so definitely that one. A and B at the same time. Done. That's the last one. Yeah, well, that's uh, the end of the video. Hope you found it useful. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell button uh, just to uh, get any notifications for any new videos. And uh, I shall see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.